A derogatory post by Congress leader Supriya Srinet on actor Kangana Ranawat's electoral debut has sparked a fresh controversy. The National Commission of Women has demanded action against Supriya. In fact, Supriya has said that the post was sent out from a parody account. She has also apologized for the post. Kangana Ranawat is contesting Lok Sabha elections from Mandi in her home state Himachal Pradesh. In fact, this is not the first time that the Queen actor is at the center of a political controversy. My name is Gulam Jilani and you are watching Live Mint. Here are five recent political controversies involving Kangana Ranawat. In 2021, the Thalaiwi actor sparked a row with her thoughts on the freedom of India. Speaking during a TV channel summit, Kangana said that the freedom that India got in 1947 was actually a bheek or alms. She in fact said that citizens of India got real freedom in 2014. That is when Narendra Modi was sworn in as Prime Minister of India for the first time. Well, we know Kangana has been a vocal supporter of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Many criticized her for insulting freedom fighters with the comment. And among those who responded was none other than BJP member of parliament Varun Gandhi. Varun in fact wondered if he should call the comment madness or treason. The same year in the month of May an FIR was filed against Kangana Ranawat for allegedly spreading hate propaganda and inciting communal violence in West Bengal. The complaint against Kangana was that she maligned the image of West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee. The police case came after the Queen actor while reacting to the post poll violence in West Bengal took a direct dig at West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee. After her posts Kangana's Twitter account was suspended. She however continued to post on her Instagram account. At that time the spokesperson of the social media platform X had said that her posts were provoking anger and violence and diminishing the value of global public conversation on the platform. In 2020 Kangana triggered another controversy. She said that Mumbai police haunted her more than the mafias of Bollywood. She went on comparing Mumbai to Pakistan occupied Kashmir. Kangana's statement was to counter Shiv Sena leader Sanjay Raut. The Rajya Sabha MP had slammed her for her adverse comments about Mumbai police. A political row ensued. The then Chief Minister Uddhav Thackeray was also involved. A municipality team visited Kangana's production house and issued her a notice for illegal construction. A demolition drive was undertaken. Later on, however, the Bombay High Court ordered a stay on the municipality move. In 2020, Kangana called actress turned politician Urmila Patonkar a soft porn star. Kangana made the statement against Urmila during a TV interview. Urmila was then a Congress leader. Visibly miffed over her questions regarding her political aspirations, Kangana said if Urmila, who according to her was only known for her soft porn films, could get an election ticket, why couldn't she? Well, Urmila made her political debut as a Congress candidate in 2019 Lok Sabha polls. She contested from Mumbai North seat and lost. Later she resigned from the Congress party and joined Shiv Sena in the year 2020. At the peak of farmers protest in 2020, Kangana had made many controversial statements. She even termed farmers as terrorists. She received flack when she shared false information about an elderly sick woman claiming that she is protesting to earn just rupees 100. Kangana even said that the same woman had earlier gained popularity as the Shahin Bagh dadi during the protest against Citizenship Amendment Act in New Delhi. So that's it for now about Kangana Ranawat and her political controversies. Keep watching Live Mint for similar videos and explainers and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.